All the reactants for this experiment are set out in the fume hood. We start by labeling four test tubes appropriately. So that would be two with alkane, two with alkene. We also make sure that we have the notes at hand and take notes while we are doing the experiment. We add one milliliter of cyclohexane into one of our test tubes. And one milliliter cyclohexane into a second test tube. We slowly add about one milliliter of the yellow bromine water into the test tube with cyclohexane. We add a few drops and then give the test tube a little shake. We do the same thing with the other test tube. We add about one milliliter of the yellow bromine water dropwise to the cyclohexane and also give this a shake. We then compare both test tubes for any color changes and write down the observations straight away. With the second set of test tubes, we repeat the first step. We add one milliliter of cyclohexane to one test tube. And one milliliter of cyclohexane to the other test tube. In this part, we add about one milliliter of the deeply purple potassium permanganate solution to the cyclohexane. We give it a very good shake because the phases are separated. We also add one milliliter of permanganate solution into the cyclohexane and give this again another good shake. We compare the two solutions for any color changes and write our observations down immediately. In this experiment, we dispose of the waste in separate containers. One bottle is set up for bromine waste. A second bottle is set up for permanganate waste. Both bottles are clearly labeled. We then wash the empty test tubes in the sink inside the fume hood. And leave them in the tray inside the fume hood to make sure that the fumes stay contained.